A set is a collection of objects. Same definition as in, you know, the real world. In math, though, it's generally a collection of numbers. And the set's contents need to be clearly determined. That basically means I can't give you a set of squiggly jumble, right? And you need to be able to look at the set and be able to say, okay, that's this, you know, clearly determined. Element and member, these are two words that are interchangeable. They mean the same thing. These are the objects in the set. Set notation uses this bracket. So if we have a set okay, these are the elements. Okay. And this indicates it's a set. So we don't use parentheses, we don't use the square brackets, we use these squiggly brackets. <coughs> okay, and for it to be well defined, that means the objects are clearly determined. This is well defined, our objects are clearly determined. We've got 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10, these are even numbers up to 10. Okay, so as words, we write a word description for the set. So here's our set. Um, oh, also, sets are named with capital letters. Okay, so this is set P. Um, so here's our set. P is equal to Washington, Adams, Jefferson, Madison, and Monroe. So in words... Okay, set P is the first five presidents of the U.S. Um, in words, that set that I wrote on the last page was, you know, set, if I had named it A, set A is the even numbers up to 10. Um, if we want to use the roster method, roster method just means listing all the elements. Okay, so set C is the set of U.S. coins with a value of less than a dollar. So I have a penny, nickel, dime, quarter, half dollar. There's an F in half. Okay, so in words, what this is saying is the set W, sorry, set W is all elements X such that X is a day of the week. Okay, so that's how you would read that. And as you can see, writing it like this is much nicer. It's a shortcut. So basically, it's just a straight upside, up and down line means such that. Okay. Um, so just to compare them.
Okay, in word description I can say S is the set of all states beginning with A. Roster method. I can list them. And then set builder. So anytime you do set builder notation, you basically take your letter, so X, line, X, and then define X. Um, you can have, let's say for example, you wanted the set of negative numbers. You could say X, line, X is less than zero. So there's, it, it makes it really short to write in set builder notation sometimes. Okay. Here we're going to convert from set builder to roster. Um, sometimes roster is shorter than set builder. Look, set builder here is X such that X is a month that begins with the letter M. What months begin with M? March. Right. <laughs> May, March. So sometimes roster is actually less writing than set builder. Sometimes set builder is less writing than roster. If you were to say, for example, that if I said earlier, all the negative numbers, you could not possibly list every negative number that ever existed, right? Tedious or impossible? Okay, tedious. I said tedious. Okay, tedious. You can do a shortcut method. If you have a set that's a very well-known set, for example, the letters of the alphabet, or let's say you wanted to list the numbers 1 through 25, You said enough letters or numbers to show the pattern. Then you dot, 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 and then you push the last one. So if I wanted to do the set of numbers 1 through 25, I'd do 1, 2, 3, dot, 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 25. So I'm showing all the numbers in order up to 25. Now again, it has to be a set that would be recognizable. Um, you could, you can make a set with anything. I could make a set with like squares, triangles, circles, squiggly lines, you know, the web dings from, you know, your fonts. But then if I start doing random stuff like that, I can't do dot, dot, dot because nobody's going to say, oh, well, you know, turkey hat comes next, you know, or whatever, you know, it doesn't make any sense. So it has to be a recognizable set in order for you to do this. Okay, um, sometimes the roster method is impossible. Positive numbers, I'm gonna list them all. Could you just do one, two, three, dot, 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 and the little Yeah, like I'm gonna go on forever, right? Well, can you do the little infinity sign? No, you don't do infinity. When this happens, if it's going to go on forever, it never ends, you do one, two, three, four, dot, 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 close your brackets, okay? You can't list every poss possible positive number. I mean, you could start writing now, and you could write until you died, and you would never list every number, right? They go on forever. So that's when we say roster method is impossible. It's impossible to list every number that's positive. So when that happens, you just do the three dots and then do the last bracket. 
So this indicates that we're stopping at Z or we're stopping at 25. This indicates that we're never stopping. The set just goes on forever. Um, we're going to go to the next one and then we'll stop. Okay, empty set. Okay, this is also called the null set. Null is short for the word nulla, which is Latin for nothing. So it's empty. Okay. This is a set with no elements. Right, so if I put together a set of all of my millions of dollars, it would be empty because I don't have any millions of dollars, right? So that would be a set with no elements. Um, you can indicate it either with brackets like this with nothing in them or you can indicate it with this symbol. This symbol means the empty set, which is why in the past you may have, some people like to cross their zeros and you may have had math teachers that told you not to do that because this is not the same as zero. Zero is a number, right? So if I have a set with a zero in it, I have an element, my element is zero. This is nothing, there's n not even the number zero. The zero has a line like oh, in it. this, yeah. Um, the null set line goes all the way through, okay? It's um, also, this is not an empty set. So you don't use this, okay? This is the set containing the empty set if that makes any sense. This is empty, this is empty, this is not empty. So if you're trying to say empty set, you don't do both. You do one or the other. Okay, so big fat no on that. Okay, so is this set empty? No, it has a zero in it, right? And zero, just a zero hanging out by itself, that's not even a set. It's just a zero. So it's not empty. Um, X such that X is a number. Oh, that's supposed to be a than. Less than four, but greater than 10. Give me a number, less than four, greater than 10. Five. Nope, less than four, greater than 10. Well, it's impossible to be good. Impossible, right? There's no number less than four bigger than 10, right? So this is empty because there are no numbers that actually fit that, right? Um, how about a square with exactly three sides? No. no, impossible, right? So if you have impossibilities thrown in there, those sets are empty. Um, yeah, I, I have a set with my unicorn, my mermaid, and my dragon. It's got a mythical characters, man. Yeah. But it's empty though, right? Because they don't exist. <laughs>